Hi, I'm Bryce Hastings, Group Fitness Research and Operations Manager at Les Mills International. And I'm Dr. Ginger Gottschall, Associate Professor of Kinesiology at the Pennsylvania State University. In the last year, we've been talking to you about the benefits of high-intensity interval training. The type of workout where an individual performs repeated bouts of exercise above anaerobic threshold, followed by periods of recovery. Now the Les Mills Grit Series was developed using this approach. I previously shared the results of a study we completed last year that demonstrated how these workouts can dramatically improve a number of fitness variables. In short, when active individuals replace one 60-minute moderate intensity cardiovascular workout with two 30-minute high intensity grit sessions, aerobic fitness increased, body fat decreased, blood profiles improved, and upper as well as lower body strength was enhanced. Now today, Ginger is here to tell us about an additional study demonstrating how the GRIT series workouts benefited elite college athletes. So, perhaps you could begin by describing who you tested and why. Sure. For the second GRIT study, we evaluated the elite Penn State women's soccer team during their six-week off-season training period. Past literature shows that soccer performance is related to lean body mass and VO2 max. So a greater amount of muscle and higher aerobic fitness leads to success on the field. Since our original GRIT study demonstrated significant increases in these two variables in active adults, we wanted to evaluate if the program caused similar effects in championship caliber athletes. And was the study protocol the same as the previous GRIT series study? Yes, the participants completed three cardiovascular sessions, two body pump classes, and two GRIT series workouts per week. But the cardiovascular sessions were sport specific, not Les Mills classes. In addition, we added the Les Mills GRIT cardio into the mix of plyo and strength workouts. Got it. So tell us what happened. Did the Les Mills GRIT series have the same effect on these athletes? Yes, it did. In fact, the outcome was quite impressive considering the high level of baseline fitness of the team. On average, their aerobic fitness improved by 5% and they gained 1.7 pounds or 0.8 kilograms of lean tissue in just six weeks. And one superstar athlete increased her aerobic fitness by 10% and gained 4.6 pounds or 2.1 kilograms of lean tissue. Well, wow, that's great. But how do you know that it was the Les Mills Grit Series workouts that caused these dramatic results? It's a good question. The answer is related to the exercise intensity during the training period. The Les Mills Grit Series workouts were the only sessions where the athletes were spending a significant amount of time in the 85 to 100 percent heart rate max zone. Let's take a look at this graph. It shows the correlation between the change in lean tissue and intensity. We have changes in lean tissue on the bottom horizontal axis and time in the 85 to 100 percent heart rate zone on the side vertical axis. This diagonal line illustrates that as time in this intense zone increases, the addition of lean tissue increases as well. We see the same correlation when we look at the results for cardiovascular fitness. Again, as time in the 85 to 100% heart rate zone increases, there's a parallel increase in fitness. So the main message is that 40 minutes per week in the 85 to 100% heart rate max zone can significantly improve cardiovascular fitness and lean muscle tissue. And the Les Mills Grit Series workouts are designed to get you into that zone for at least 20 minutes per session. Exactly. So substituting one cardio workout with two grit sessions is an excellent way to take your training to the next level, even for elite athletes. That's fantastic. We hope these results are reflected in their success on the field this season. Make sure you keep us posted. Will do. Thanks for watching everybody.